love Snoops. So, are you ready to give us the news now or not? Snoopy? Are you in a better mood today? Are you in a vile mood yesterday? Snoops? Come here then, let's get you some tea. Snoopy? Okay, so are you going to read out the headlines? All right, Snoops. He's upped his game, he's upped his fee. As you can see, he's already been on the tea. All right, okay, you can't eat the spoon. Snoop Snoops. Snoopy. Snoopy Poops, come on. Snoopy Snoops. You cannot eat the spoon. Let go of the spoon. Snoopy. All right, okay. I understand that you are a tea fiend. Okay. Now, when it was breaking news coming of two murders in France, two beheadings in France, I think it's in Nice, there's... there's more news coming in at the moment so we're just going to give you the, the latest that we know the footage of this as you can hear my voice i knew i'd feel a lot worse today after yesterday but there you go i had to i won't let him a little boy down um okay so this is footage of the police responding to a serious incident following the two beheadings in nice so there was another attacker okay so here we go storm in the church. I think it's Notre Dame, I think. The signalling look. I know the French police aren't fantastic. Not like our special forces in the UK. There's another one going in. Wow. So, um... The writing on the wall in Goulston Street. So uh, there you go. So I wanted to show you that. I know Snoopy's got some more news for you. He's um, he's feeling a lot better today. He's in a much better mood. So um, he's got his, he's going to continue with the headlines. Snoopy, are you ready for some more news now? Okay. So Snoopy, you got the next headline. You want? Okay. All right. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. All right, so far you've not done much news reading apart from drink tea. Okay, okay, no, no, Snoopy Poops. Snoo oh, 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 oh. His little hands. Right, Snoopy, next headline, please. What's the next headline, please? Snoops. Right, okay, so was this today? So Jeremy Corbyn has been suspended what has he he's been suspended from the Labour Party come here Snoops come here look at the camera darling tell us properly you don't like Jeremy Corbyn because he's anti-semitic and you you you're very upset about that aren't you so he's been he's been suspended from the Labour Party I love you too. You've been so kissy today. So kissy. Yeah. By Kia Sturmer, who is that weirdo that looks like a kid in a suit with a spotty face. Okay. He also covered up for Jimmy Savile. Really? Right. So, you, uh, where are you going? So, you're happy that Jeremy Corbyn's been suspended from the Labour Party? Okay, so would you like Labour to go back to being new Labour, which is more like what we've got now with Doris? No, you want a complete reform of the Labour Party. You want the Labour Party to go? Really? What you think of the Labour Party is what you're doing to that label right now. You want the Labour Party to be destroyed. What about the Conservative Party? How do you feel about that? 
you want them to be destroyed as well. Who would you like then? A new nationalist party and an English parliament. And what what do you think of Doris? You want to you want to eat Doris? Probably made of rubber actually. So you eat everything else. So he's now lying down, letting us know his thoughts on the Labour Party and he wants it destroyed okay so are you gonna give us some more headline snoops or are you just gonna keep on telling us what you think of the Labour Party just trying to get this to focus snoops right okay all right you, you, we, we get the point that you want Labour to go All right, okay, I think we get the point, Snoops. I think we get it, okay? All right, I get it, I get it. You want to eat them. You want them gone. Okay, okay. Let's just calm down. We, we get it, we get it, okay? So would you like to talk about the American election now and the rally yesterday? Yeah, oh, you want some more? Okay, all right, okay. You've upped your fee again. Okay. All right, okay, okay. All right, okay. Okay, that's enough then. Okay, okay, Snoops, okay. O okay, Snoops. Okay, we get it, okay. So, what's the news then? Nigel Farage turned up at a Trump rally. Really? And he, he said Trump's going to win. And when do they go to vote? November the 3rd. Next week then. Next Tuesday, is it? And when does the winner get announced? Next Thursday. Okay. And, and Farage was there. So we have a little look at that clip, Snoops? Yeah? Okay, let's have a look then. Okay, so here we are. There's uh, President Donald Trump on the left there. Nigel Farage, a prominent UK politician and the leader of the Brexit campaign. So he's gone to America. It wasn't planned. It was impromptu and he gave a terrific speech. He delivers the Brexit message in surprise Donald Trump rally speech. So let's see if we've got... Oh, God. We don't want to see that, do we? What's going on here? So we want to see whether there's there's any footage we can show you. What Mummy and Snoops can show you. Okay, so here we go. He's praised Brexit as a triumph. So, a quick interview with Farage here. So let's see what he's got I've to say. I've watched with amusement uh, commentators in this country saying it's a slam dunk, Biden's won, Trump's got no chance. It's all a replay of what we saw back in 2016. I would say 100% of those that go out to vote on November the 3rd, Donald Trump will win a majority in the Electoral College. I'll say that 100%. 100%. What I don't know is the extent to which this early mail-in voting, right, the US equivalent of our postal voting, uh, is being used and potentially abused. But if we finished up with a situation where 10 days after Trump's won the election, it turns out actually Biden's won the election, uh, then America's going to be in very real trouble. And I, you know, one of the things that we tried to do in the Brexit party was to wake people up to the scale of abuse with postal voting in our country. So that is the dark cloud that hangs over the US election. Uh, and I just don't know at this stage what the numbers involved are. No one does. Okay, sorry about that. That's Nigel Farage. 100% sure Trump's going to win. He's spoken about the postal vote, which we know is flawed and we know is used as a way, a catalyst for the way the Democrats will try and take the election. I'm, uh, I don't think it's going to be a landslide the way the first one was. And I think to become complacent like that, Nigel, to just say, this happened last time, 
no, I, I, I wouldn't be doing that. I just think that's too cocky and it's too obvious. I do believe that it will be fixed. I, I think if it was left to 100% no cheating, I think Trump would have a landslide, but I don't think they're going to allow that this time. And I do believe that there is a lot of corruption and, and Biden will get a lot more votes than what people are thinking. But I think Trump will pip it. So let's wait and see. I might put a punt on that. Um, Snoopy, have you got anything to add to that? Hold on. Let's see if we've got any commentary from Snoopy. You're not on camera, darling. Have you got any more comments? Yeah. Okay, so Snoopy's gone for a Trump win as well. And... Uh, watch this space so by this time next week we should have an answer on who's gonna be inaugurated in january so let's see what else is in the news today snoops so we're back with another news headline and apparently doris is being pushed by sage this is what snoopy thinks of doris by the way are we doing that again are we yeah you're not happy are you no you're not happy does not like doris at all Okay, all right. I jumped to tell you why Snoopy's so angry because we didn't get to do any car shows this year, and he's really upset by that because he loves his car shows and he likes to go and watch the cars and he comes and sits on the grass. He's the club mascot for our car club, so he's been very upset. So, this is what he thinks of Doris. Okay, so. Apparently, Doris is resisting calls for the another national lockdown for England because his sage Dr. Doom pair, Dumb and Dumber, with their modelling again, they want... All right, Snoopy, OK, Snoopy's refusing to talk until he gets a bit more tea. OK, we're getting a bit sparse on the tea now. Me and Snoopy have just been downing a mug, haven't we, dude? Yeah, I don't like your tea that much, though. Okay, okay, all right, okay, okay. You've got a bit on your nose, sweetheart. You've got a little bit on your nose. Should we get that off? All right, okay. So, uh, I love you too. Give me kisses. And kisses, gonna kiss the camera as well. You gonna give everybody a kiss? Kiss, kiss. No, okay. So, Doris is resisting a lockdown because apparently there's a new poll out. So, all the polls have shown that the support um, for the government which we know they're flawed the polls but there's new support there's a new poll out now saying that the public have had enough the public don't want a second lockdown national lockdown in england and so far doris is resisting and he's saying no more lockdown okay but the thing is we might as well just all he's going to do is put us all in tier three which is virtually a lockdown and then invent a tier four for, you know, this is just ridiculous. For those not in the UK, we now have three tiers, okay? Medium, high, and very high. Don't we, Snoops? Yeah, there's no low or very low. There used to be, there used to be five tiers. They just make up this stuff as they're going along with these circuit breaker, fire breaker lockdowns. It make no sense. There's a video that I've recently uploaded to, uh, with, with a, a former chief scientist um and basically he calls it out there's also a new video out on pcr tests and explains in depth how they work and how they are flawed and they should not be used as a diagnostic tool so anyway snoopy have you got any no snoopy said he wants to go for a lie down he's given us the butt now yeah he's not happy we've got the piggy butt do you want to go for a lie down? You've had enough. Can you just come and say bye? Bye, bye, bye. Okay. All right then, Snoops. So that's the news for today. We'll, we might be back a bit later with, an, with another roundup, depending on how Snoopy feels. He's very tired now, so he needs to have a lie down. As you can see, he's become a flat pancake, as Jack would say. And he's having a lie down, Jack. Look, Jack, he's having a lie down. Jack's just building his new Lego. 
that mummy bought him for being a good boy. He gets a reward if he brushes his teeth regularly. He gets re real life rewards. So he was due a reward. So he's had a little Lego set. So he's busy doing that. And Snoopy's going to watch and have a little nap. Okay. I was having a wash first. Okay. What, you ready to do another headline? No. Well, look. We've done, we've done it for now. I know you hate Doris. You don't need to keep on... Look, he's not happy at all with Doris. He's also unhappy that his brother Jack can't go trick-or-treating. All right, right, come on then. No, it's Jack opening the Lego. It's not. It's not veg. Okay, thanks a lot then, everybody. You guys take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Goodbye from me, and goodbye from Snoopy Poops. Jack, do you want to say bye? Just shout bye. Bye. Good boy. We get Snoopy's bop bop.